Hello, and welcome to my latest Let's Play. Yeah, we're going to be playing A Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. This is, once again, your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730, and let's get this party started. Who am I going to name myself? Yep, we're just going to go with Shadow, because I can't put Shadow Blade. So we're going to put Shadow and the W. There we go. And let's get it started. Help me. Already? Someone's asking me for help and I just started this game? Well, makes sense. Zelda needs help. Wait, was it Agna him? Instead of... No, no speak of Ganon? Okay, cool. Okay. You're in the dungeon. And you're the princess. I guess there is no sense of, um... Royal privilege here. You know? Well, you know what? Since our grandpappy left, let's go lift us some pots. Uh, if you lift those, you get some power arts. Open the chest, you get the lamp. Well, at least we have something to light our way. Dark and stormy night. Our quest begins. Yeah, I really like this game. It's always probably been one of my favorite um, the franchise. Probably my favorite. I mean, but very closely next to uh, Orcarina. Hey. Well, how else am I supposed to get here, anyhow? Well, let's go see if there's anything around here. Since we're kind of blocked from going anywhere else. Let's head up here and... Wait up. That bush is in a specific spot. Down the horn we go! Oh, basement one already. Hey, it's Grandpa! Well, what's going on? Okay, but... Zelda's my what? She's what? Oh, Grandpa! Well, let's finish, see if we can finish what you started. Here's our first enemy, just a Hy Hyrulean soldier. Oh, actually, I guess I think they're more like better or less soldiers from Agnab. These little power-ups will restore our magic. And if you didn't acquire the um, lamp earlier, that chest would have had the lamp. But I figured, hey, what the heck, it's there. Take what you can. With our sword, now we can cut some bushes! Wait a minute, there's a soldier there. Let's throw a bush at him. And just make our way around here. And into the palace. Wow, listen to that music. How royal. This was such a change from our NES days. Now, if you head here, it kind of loops around. Then you don't really go where you need to go. And let's say, let's go up here. Let's head right to the throne room. Let's see if Zelda, we can reach Zelda here. Okay, I don't see anything here. Uh, the soldiers, you know, we have to get past these soldiers here. So we're going to go over here. So turn around, turn around. We're going to hop down. All right. A little Metal Gear Solid action. Yep. Out the door. Go ahead here to the right. Let's see if we can do with this door. All right. Let's head up through this door. Okay, let's over here. More soldiers. Ha! Ah, got him! Now, if you head left, it'll bring you back into on the main throne room, I believe. If you take this door here, it brings you here. Let's see if you can sneak past. Oh, well, nope. We're gonna try and kill him! So, as we know in these games, violence solves almost everything. It brings you outside the second floor. Remember this way for later. Just hop here. And, uh, let's see. We're gonna head the other way. To the left here. Through this door here. Uh, hmm, there's a soldier there. Uh, you know what? Let's throw something at him. Usually does a little bit more damage. Have some pot! <laughs> Got him! Alright, now actually, if you went down, that'll just looped around back to the outside floor. But you will probably have to go there later, but not now. Here we're going to go through this passage. And we're going to head downstairs. See if we can get to the dungeon. And rescue Princess Zelda! Which usually doesn't happen until way later in most Zelda games, but we're going to start it here. Open the chest, we get the map! Let's see where the heck we are. Kill this troop, we get a key. Use keys to open doors. Now, a little unique trick you can do in this area is you can knock them over the side. 
Instead of just killing them, you don't give me power-ups for it, but you know what? It's a lot easier, especially when it takes three hits to kill these soldiers. Much easier just to throw a pot or knock them over. Make a way around. Alright, set up here. Uh, let's see if we can solid snake past these guards. There we go. Uh, we have to kill this green soldier. She only takes two hits, but we'll just mash him dead. Get our heart here. All right. So, oh, now we get our new item, a boomerang. That's one of the most useful game items in the game. Press your start button. Use your Y button. Stuns enemies. Kill some enemies. Not all of them, but most of them. It will stun them. So very, very useful. You know we never mind. Never. Mind. <laughs> You'll be getting a lot of sub weapons in this game. That's why I really like this version. A lot of really good sub weapons, um, good story, good graphics, good sound. I mean, it's so much of a difference from the original Zelda. Let's stun him real quick. Get some more rupees. Rupees are our currency. Now, here we have a little boss. I guess you can say this boss. I usually just go over here and I'll pick up some pots. Two pots should kill him, and it really keeps you out of the range of his little whirlwind, mace, flail, whatever that thing is. Here we got the big ass key. And here's Zelda, already, wow! Man, you have to wait a long time in the first game to actually meet up with Zelda, but here, she's right up front. Let's open this, and eh, a little bit of money. I guess you could have gotten something there, like the lamp, but... I don't see why you wouldn't have gotten it by now, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Let's see if we can get her out of here. In our first quest, a rescue mission. If you wanted to do this in Ocarina of Time, you have to wait to the end of the game. Which, that's a whole different ball of wax, and who knows, I may actually do that in this, do a Let's Play of that game. It is really good, I have to admit. It's one of my favorites. Like I said, right under this game. See, let's make our way out of here. And let's see. Knock him into the pit. Use our boomerang. Stun gun. Stun gun! Smash some buttons. Hey, hey! Down the hole you go, bro. Okay, let's stun him. Mash a little bit. Get him out of the way. Hey, free rupees. Yeah, I don't think we'll actually need to actually farm too many rupees. There's a lot of ways to get a lot of rupees in this game, so I don't think we'll ever have to actually just farm enemies for it. Here we go back up, and let's see, where can we bring her? I don't think you guys just run her outside. There must be a secret way to get this princess out of here. Let's get rid of this guard. Use this pot here. Get rid of this guard, and I guess he's just wielding a short sword as compared to long swords the other guards have. Alright. Make our way to the throne room. Oh, hey. Why didn't that stun him? Bunghole? Oh, there's a secret passage at least the sanctuary. Hey, let's take it. Let's see if we can get to that throne room. Alright. Okay, we'll push it from the left. Push, push, push! Okay. What awaits us in this level? Let's find out now. <laughs> let's head this way. Right. And let's head down the stairs. Yep. I thought about stopping there, but you know what? I'm not going to not deny you this fabulous footage! Here we have a crap ton of snakes, or in this game they're referred to as ropers. Or ropes. I don't know, they look like snakes, I'm going to call them snakes. <laughs> okay, they're ropes. More ropes. I say one thing, they actually look more akin to snakes as compared to the original Zelda. Here we have more new bats. Bats, of course, in the Zelda series are keys. Ooh, here's a church chest. We get a key. We're gonna use our key to open doors. Okay, we're almost to the sanctuary already. Not a very long dungeon. Have to be careful though. Uh, 
this area, just really just stick to the water because most of the enemies here can't actually go over water, so if you stay in the water, you're safe. Um, let's see, is it over here? No. And of course, we like the torches that'll actually light the actual area. I'm, I'm alright with navigating this area like this. What you want to do is you want to go here and kill these mice. Because one of them, I believe, will have the key. There we go. And get through these keys and these mice. Open the door with your key. Wow. See those little um, walls with the um, that look like they're broken? Remember those for later. Push this block out of the way. We'll be back here. Whew. Let's kill some of these mice. These mice actually drop a lot of rubies, but... I'm not really interested in just farming them because, like I said, there's other ways to get a lot of rupees in this game. Over where? Yeah, I actually want to go, um, ooh, 10 rupees, that's nice. Yep, so just hold A and pull back. Yeah, if you pull the actual other one, a lot of ropes will fall down from the ceiling and try and attack you, so just hit this one. That way you can get through to the sanctuary. Here we are. We saved Zelda. Oh. Wow, we gotta stop this. You can do it! So we have to find the Master Sword. Not the Magical Sword, the Master Sword. Um, sure, I get it. So, let's see. Gives us our first container heart! Yay! What awaits us in the village? Will this wise man tell us where to go? Will we actually accomplish anything besides doing side quests to acquire heart pieces? Find out next time on Let's Play A Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past! This is your ever-lovable host, Shadowblade7C30. See you all next adventure!